Richmond has had a, uh, a large transformation of their uh, city council. They, they have moved up and they've, they've elected a very progressive city council. And, uh, you know, just having a few extra votes on a council can be really helpful. You know, if you have, we have a seven member council, if we had four strong progressive votes, we could move many more things nuestros valores porque lo, para mí es más importante que personas tengan un lugar, una cocina, un baño y una cama uh, para donde se puedan dormir en las noches. ¿Debemos cambiar el sistema económico? Claro que sí, claro que sí. Muchas gracias. Hay algo muy malo y correcto con una comunidad que necesita que usted haga todo para que corra la comunidad, pero no le da suficiente para que usted sobreviva. Look out from under our community. That we do manner and we count. A fundamental principle, idea of Judaism, my religion. So algo muy fundamental de mi religión, Judaism. Is that all people, all people are created in the image of God. Es que todos, todas personas están creadas en la imagen de Dios. All people, no matter where you come from, your sexuality, where you live, all people. Todos, no importa de dónde viene, no importa, todos aquí. And as people created in God's image, we have the right for the dignity of a roof over our heads. Y como todos estamos creados en la imagen de Dios, tenemos el derecho de tener un techo sobre nuestras cabezas. So, there are lots of ways to pray. And to me, marching is praying with your feet. Hay muchas formas como orar, pero marchando es una forma de orar con sus patas. And with, with our feet today, we're going to pray for dignity for all people. So, con nuestros pies, vamos a orar para dignidad de todos los humanos. With our feet today, we're going to pray that all people should have a roof over their heads. Con nuestros pies, vamos a orar que todos tengan un techo sobre sus cabezas. With our feet today, we're going to pray that anyone who lives here and works here should afford to be able to have a home here. So vamos a orar que cualquier fuerza que trabaje aquí y viva aquí tenga un techo sobre su cabeza. And I'm praying with my feet. Y yo voy a orar con mis pies. With each step I'm saying no to rent exploitation. Y yo voy a decir que no a la explotación de las rentas. And yes to rent stabilization. Y sí para estabilizar las rentas. With my feet today. Con mis pies hoy. I'm praying for the dignity of every human being. Because we're all in God's image. We all deserve the dignity of affordable housing. The ability to live where we work. To contribute and also benefit from the societies in which we live. There's something wrong here, but we can make it right. All right, uh, why are you here today? What is it that, that drives you to, to come take time out of your day to be here? I'm here because there's a serious housing issue in this county. It's uh, been a problem for a very long time. Um, it's affected me, it's affected my kids, it's affected neighbors, and it's, it's about time that it changed. We need uh, the representatives that we've elected in this county to uh, focus more on housing and uh, the people of this county that are suffering from it. Uh, you know, we, we all deserve to have a roof over our head. Everybody. It doesn't matter what your income level is, everybody deserves to have a roof over their head. It's a human right. Um, and it's been an injustice for, for far too long. One that needs to be taken care of as soon as possible.
under attack. What do we do? Están sufriendo, están sufriendo que los dejamos solos, enfermedades. And so we're, we're struggling to survive, we're struggling to pay, pay for our rent, uh, and this has caused that, that our children have, have struggled and, and have been abandoned by us because we've worked so hard. De lo peor, de la peor manera que se puede esperar, estamos sufriendo, no nomás nosotros, todos nuestros niños, nuestros ancianos, todas las... Jóvenes, adultos, todos estamos sufriendo porque no alcanza, no alcanza para pagar. Ya estamos hartos de que nos traten como inteligentes. So we're, we're tired, we're, we're tired, you know, the, the people uh, treat us like criminals, we're tired of, of what's going on, it's affecting us, it's affecting adults, it's affecting our children, and, and we can't, we can't survive, and it's, an, it's not enough. We don't make enough, and, and we're tired of the way they live. Pero lo que quiero compartir con ustedes hoy es la situación de Hillsborough. 21 familias están siendo evacuadas de unos apartamentos que han estado ahí por 15 y 20 años. Uh, so I'm representing Hillsborough. As you may all know, the work that I do at the Great Day Labor Center, I'm on the executive board there. But today I'm representing Hillsborough. And, and as you, some of you have known or, or know that there's 21 families that, have, that are struggling right now and that's, that's what's going on right now in Hillsburg. Hi, my name is Kimberly Barroso Soil. I'm a graduate of Sonoma State University and current resident of Katati Rona Park area, and I support rent control and just cost eviction policies. So, my name is Kimberly Barroso Cero. Uh, soy una graduada de Sonoma State, y uh, ahorita vivo en Katati Runner Park, uh, el área, y yo apoyo a la, a la estabilización de, de renta y a uh, uh, just, uh, la causa justicia. Student loans to uh, meet the cost of living. I am, I am putting in over half of my income just to rent. So, como una, yo sigo estudiando en la universidad uh, y todavía la mitad de, de mis ingresos va para la renta. Uh. This is how we feel living in the conditions that we live in. No more. No more. Así lo sentimos. En esta vivienda. Y ya no más, ya no más queremos vivir con esto. We are sick and tired of being sick and tired. We've been fighting and we have been winning. Estamos cansados, cansados y, y frustrados de lo que está pasando, pero seguimos, seguimos peleando y seguimos ganando. I started the anti-discrimination task force in an effort to help our community to keep our homes and our dignity. So, empecé a, a tener esta task force de alta administración para empezar a, a tener dignidad en nuestras casas.